Welcome back to Peter Tries, Peter Bracken here. So I'm here with my friend Eamon from Range Therapy. Okay, so what on earth is going on here, Eamon? And Eamon's been on Nationwide. I'll have the link of that more professional video in the link that you can watch. But yeah, yeah, you yeah. tell us here, we're at the plowing and we're at the end of day three. So you're a little bit hoarse, but yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, Peter, it's very great to see you. Yeah. And this has been an absolutely amazing few days. So we've been here showing farmers yeah. this, this battery pack that can yeah. store electricity for them. And it can store it at a cheap rate at night to save them the high cost that could be in the evening. So what we discovered when we were preparing yeah. is 17,000 farmers milk their cows when the electricity is most expensive at seven o'clock in the evening or seven whatever and yeah. Seven and evening. yeah and what you could do is put the electricity in here when it's cheapest and then use this electricity to power it now it, it can't power a herd of 300 cows but it could manage power a milk parlor with 90 cows 90 and that's cows. actually the average Irish herd so that's the kind of potential here and you're talking about a lot of saving now, if you want to make it even better if you had solar panels because you know you're yeah parlor has a huge roof yep. with lots of panels, save electricity here, and then use your own electricity to power the battery. So it's free. So it's, you know, we've had an amazing response from people. It's been, been, been really surprising to me. Um, so how, how long would it take to pay back on that? Would you say for an average 90 cows? Two years. Two years, right. If you just use the nitro electricity, it'll probably take four years. Right, right, right. Very doable. Very doable. I mean, the economics are good there. Now, if I had a gate down down a couple of fields off road or whatever, and I needed a welder and I needed to weld something, uh, absolutely. Could I hitch this that is up? The guy. Hitch right. It up, bring it down to your gate with your welder, plug it in, and you could weld for eight hours. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take you that long, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so. <laughs> there's something went wrong earlier yeah, that yeah, I didn't yeah. fix. But also, you know, and lots yeah. of farmers have been asking about broken machines. Yeah. You know, we're out in the field. I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I need to do it now. Get yeah. the welder. Out to fix it and get going. So I, I, I didn't realize that, you know, but that's another thing. The other thing that is huge, particularly for dairy farms, yeah. but also we are talking to credit unions, central shops, as well as backup. You said, you know, what backup do I need if there isn't electricity? And everybody's thinking of foreign and fossil fuels. Yeah, do that. yeah, diesel People generator or whatever. It. Yeah, this thing is sitting in the corner. If you charge it six months ago, it'll still be charged, ready to fuel whatever you need, when you need it. So it, it's the perfect backup. Um. So, that, you know, so that's the second good thing. The third thing that it does, and it's really important, is to charge an electric car fast. Fast. It's a DC fast charge. Ah. So it's a DC storage of bat in a battery, and it can pump that power into a car. You know, you get 100 kilometers in 30 minutes. And, and we think every garage in the country should have one of these. So, uh, garages, garages, just, yeah. B's and B's, hotels. You know, it's all good to slow charge. A lot of people, that's grand. But yeah. what if I'm in a hurry and I have to go to a funeral or something that's happened when my child is sick and I want, a, I want a fast charge? This guy offers a fast charge. And you know what? We need them all over the country. And come here, so this time next year, at this ploughing championships, you could have uh, maybe 10 or maybe 100 of these dotted around in the car park. P uh, people arriving in their electric cars, which there will be more. Every year there'll be more and more electric cars arriving. A good charge. I don't know if you watched watch Nationwide last night. Yeah. They, they, haven't they seen were, that I will they, they were in here right and yeah. then they went outside and they found food trucks and they went around the back and there was a diesel generator with barrels of diesel behind them and they said what are we at why don't we have range trailers given clean energy with no noise and no fumes and no CO2 to power the food trucks well you have me anyway you had me at hello <laughs> nice one Aaron thanks very much that's brilliant drive on